Hello there. Pleja? Pleja? Your dog speaks Chinese. <laughs> You've probably seen this clip and you must be wondering who is that fine man with watermelon stuffed in his face? Well I'm glad you asked. This guy is Eric Nam, a nation American artist from the US. I'm pretty sure on November 17th, 1988, the perfect man was born but that's just what I've heard. You're probably tired of school but today we'll be learning some history. Everyone please open your textbooks to page 90. Eric was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. He grew up in a variation household and he'd wanted to be a musician since he was young. In the same way some kids wanted to be an astronaut or a firefighter. He uploaded Korean and American song covers to YouTube when he was in college and was offered opportunities from the biggest Korean music agencies. But he turned down said agencies to focus on school and instead went to India for a year to work. He ended up taking a risk when a television producer saw his covers and gave him an offer. He was invited to South Korea to compete on the show Star Audition. Birth of a Great Star 2 in which he made it to the top 5. His parents were against his music career in the beginning. They wanted him to go to college and get a well-paying job. But after seeing his success in the music industry, they warmed up to the idea. In 2012, he signed under B2M Entertainment as a solo artist and in January of 2013, he debuted with his first EP called Cloud9 with the titled track, Heaven's Door. From 2013 to 2016, he was the MC of the popular TV show After School Club, which you may have heard of. Hello! Oh, 진짜 어지럽다. Hello, AOC family. I am your host, Eric Nam. And Kevin is not here, but he's watching you from over there. Sorry, I'm really dizzy. This is the After School Show, After School Club After Show. I'm Eric Nam. Kevin clearly is not here because he's busier than I am and more popular, and he has a lot more schedules than I do. So I'm here with you. He later left to focus on his entertainment career though. He has also interviewed international stars such as Robert Downey Jr., Matt Damon, and even more recently, Will Smith. His interviews became viral hits in Korea at the time. <laughs> in 2014, he released his first digital single, Oh Oh and signed a contract with Stone Music Entertainment in 2015. After his second EP, Interview, he went on the show We Got Married with Sola from Mama Moo. <laughs> He continued his music career from there and even headlined K Connolly in 2016. He became the host of the talk show Yang and Nam show in November 2016. 방탄이랑 여기 여기 오늘 파자마 파티를 한번 어, 세상에. 할 건데 혹시 방탄 돌이 좋아하는 거 아세요? 아세요? His song into you with American artist collage was his first leap into the American music scene. And following the release of his 30 EP, Honestly, which reached number 6 on Billboard's World Albums chart in the first week, he began his 2018 North American tour. The tour consisted of 15 shows in 14 cities. Soon after, he released Float, 
which was featured on the official soundtrack of Hotel Transylvania 3. In April of 2019 he debuted his first podcast K-Pop Debark, which quickly rose to the top of Spotify and Apple podcast charts. Okay, spoiler alert, if you guys have not watched the other people's music video, uh, she Pop sucks here. face. <laughs> like, Pause the video right now and go watch it. He released his very first English album in November 2019 called Before We Begin, with the title tracks Love Die Young and Congratulations. You in December, he released his second podcast, I Think You're Dope with Eric Nam in which he brings in his favorite people to talk. It reached number one on the music podcast charts in over 25 countries. Today we have a special guest. His name is Alec Benjamin. Hello. Hey, thanks. Yay! Yay! All two people in the room are hey. clapping. In 2020, he began his first world tour consisting of 34 cities around the world. It lasted until March when he cancelled due to COVID-19. Like now here he is today, a successful singer but still underrated nonetheless. His witty humor and entertaining personality has brought him far. Oh man, you guys are so aggressive. Step on me. I'm not gonna step on you. I will like love tap you or like love kick you, but I'm not gonna step on you. Stepping on people hurts, man. If you pay me enough, I mean, anything's possible. Some other things you might find interesting. He has two brothers, Eddie and Brian, and Eddie is his manager. I'm not scared at all. You're not scared? No. All right. Are you scared? Are you scared? He's younger than scared you. Scared of what? Of that guy. He's younger than you. I'm not scared. You're not scared? You can do it? You can take him? I'll do it with one hand. One hand? Alright, one hand. Yeah. He graduated with a major in international studies. He can speak English, Korean, Spanish, and Mandarin. He was GQ Korean Man of the Year in 2016. He appeared on King of Masked Singer in 2015 and 2019. <laughs> He has a TikTok where he essentially loses his mind. This is my face. Tell me I'm beautiful. Light bulb. Mmm, foot. <laughs> and lastly, his goal is to bring more attention to Asian Americans and break into the American mainstream as a Korean American. If you've made it this far into the video, I welcome you to Nam Nation. I hope you know a little more about Eric Nam now. I don't think I don't know it, girl, that's why I'm sad to see it go, so congratulations, you're finally 